this day for it is life the very life of life in its brief course lie all the verities and realities of your existence the bliss of growth the glory of action the splendor of achievement are but experiences of time for yesterday is but a dream and tomorrow is only a vision and today well lived makes yesterday a dream of happiness and every tomorrow a vision of hope look well therefore to this day such is the salutation to the ever new dawn greetings to one and all present here we are here to celebrate another milestone in the history of jagran public school i vidhi sharma school head girl and i ansh bharadwaj school head boy welcome you all on behalf of the entire jps family through this virtual platform without any further ado we will begin the proceedings with the floral tribute to the founder of jagran group and guiding spirit of our institution late shri puran chandra gupta ji and our beloved chairman late shri yogendra mohan gupta ji deep jyoti par brahma deep jyoti janardhana deepo hartu me papam sandhya deep namostute i fold my hands before the lord the maintainer of this creation in the form of this light i adore this light which destroys all the pains resulting from my omissions and commissions let us witness the lamp lighting ceremony Om Sajam Chavarti Sayuktam Vanhina Yojitam Maya Deepam Graha दीपम Dr. Mahendra Mohan Gupta is the chairman and managing director of Jagran Group and also holds the position of editorial director of Danik Jagran. He has been associated with the Jagran Prakashan Limited since its inception. His work for the so cause of society, Indian trade and industry in general, newspaper industry in particular, has been recognized by various social, cultural and professional bodies in India. I request him to welcome the chief guests parents and other dignitaries who are present virtually with us today my dear parents students teachers and guests as i take the responsibility of all the educational institutions under the sri puranchand gupta smarak trust i would first like to pay homage and regards to my elder brother late shri yogen mohan ji for bringing our schools to the present level i would like to express my gratitude to him it is only because of his vision and untiring efforts that the jagran public schools are now 
a name to be reckoned with, contributing actively to the society. I hope and pray that the ideas of late respected Bhai Sahab may continue to guide us even in his absence. The speed at which things are changing in the present is amazing. My advice to all stakeholders is that we need to adapt ourselves quickly to the changing scenario if we want to be relevant in the days to come. Jagran Public School, Lucknow, is now recognized as an important CBSE school in Lucknow that continues to impart quality education not only in academics but also in personality development. It is encouraging to see more and more students taking interest in law, humanities, their own entrepreneurial ventures and startups. With a little bit of systematic guidance at a school, it is merely a matter of time before a significant number of our students will start reaping the benefits of a sound education suited to the times. I am told that the teachers are being trained to fulfill their obligations with respect to the new education policy. This is an important step which will align our academic programs with the best practices in the world. I would like to thank the parents of our students for the trust they have reposed in us and I assure them that our teachers are trying hard to mold your children into worthy citizens of tomorrow. At the same time, do keep an eye on the amount of time your children are spending online for the pursuit of education and how much time they are wasting on things that are taking them away from their studies. Teach them to respect their teachers and elders. In this way, you will make it easier for the school to groom your children in a better way. Finally, a word of sincere appreciation for the principal, Mr. Sachidanand Singh, the vice principal, Mr. Umesh Kaul, the coordinators, and all the teachers and employees of the school for having justified all the norms of their office during the most difficult times. I would also like to congratulate all the prize winners who are being felicitated and the high achievers of the board classes. I only hope the laurels keep coming in the school. Last but not the least, I congratulate Shivam Bagla and Anurag Verma for having cleared their medical entrance and others who have got admissions in prestigious institutes elsewhere. May God bless, bless everyone. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat. Let's begin our journey as we cross the oceans, the seas, because life is not worth living in the night. It's a great race, like a time trial, to be noticed by the world. So get ready, because here I come. Now, we request our honorable principal, sir, to present the school report showcasing the achievement and glories of the school. At the very outset, I would like to express our deep anguish at the demise of Sri Vayam Gupta Ji, our beloved chairman, on the 15th of October 2021. He made Jagran Public School what it is today. We cannot forget the values he held dear and the love for India that he inspired. Even though we met only occasionally, he reached out to each and every member of staff whenever it was required. We are going to miss his fatherly presence for a very long time. I would also like to take this opportunity to welcome Sri Mahendra Mohan Gupta Ji as the new chairman of 
श्री पूरन चंद्र गुप्ता मेमोरियल ट्रस्ट एंड द जागरण पब्लिक स्कूल लखनऊ मैनेजिंग कमेटी वी प्लेज आर सिंसियर सपोर्ट टू हिम एंड अश्योर हिम ऑफ आर अटमोस्ट कोऑपरेशन इन अचीविंग द गोल्स सेट बाय हिम ही ब्रिंग सेवरल इयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस विद हिम वेदर इट इज पॉलिटिक्स और जर्नलिज्म और एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन अंडर हिज एबल लीडरशिप I am certain the Jagran Public School will scale new heights. I wish him all the very best. The year 2122 witnessed the mighty second wave and the third wave of the corona pandemic, causing untold misery to countless families. There were at least 6 students from our school who lost one or both of their parents to the pandemic. We express our deep sympathy with them and assure them of our cooperation until things are under control the virus has taught us to be humble kind compassionate and innovative although the online teaching system replaced the offline classes for some time the outcome has not been very encouraging there are distinct learning gaps that will have to be filled in time even the teachers have got into the habit of taking a minimalist sort of approach to teaching a problem that is being addressed by training the staff in the new pedagogies we have drawn up a training schedule of 10 workshops for each teacher apart from the regular training sessions by the cbsc not only will this help in aligning our indigenous teaching methodologies with the new education policy but also scrape off the dust that may have settled on our professional abilities one of the key characteristics of the new education policy is that all teaching is aimed at providing skills apart from knowledge and understanding of the key concepts these skills are to be assessed in ways that are measurable and accurate this will not only discourage rote learning without understanding but also help them come up with new ideas that will hopefully be utilized in the real world we could not hold the board board examinations in 2021 and the batch was given mark sheets based on the internal examinations the entire process for the computation of marks was developed by the board and implemented by the results committee of the school which also included teachers from other schools to ensure objectivity i have come to know that this batch of students is being called by all kinds of names which is totally unfair we cannot criticize them for situations beyond their control further this batch this batch is always going to be technologically ahead of the previous batches because they tried out all the options available before closing before choosing a system for themselves i congratulate the toppers of the batch in both class 10 and class 12 tanmay singh kushwaha topped in the secondary school examination with 90% marks in the senior secondary examination shreya singh humanities topped the school with 97.6% marks with abhishek upadhyay humanities at the second place with 97.4% marks and shams husain commerce and harshita singh science tied up at the third place with 96.6% marks each i congratulate these students their parents and their teachers for this achievement similarly i congratulate all the students who secured the first second and third positions in their classes in 2021 we will be highlighting their achievements separately in the course of the program i congratulate the parents and teachers of these students and wish that they sustain their positions throughout their stay in school although examination results indicate the performance of a child at one given moment of time no doubt important for the time being they are not a guarantee that the child will be successful in life there are others who dedicate their lives to a noble cause and are eventually recognized for their contributions to society men and women of character are able to achieve respect in society so it does not matter if you are an average student now 
because your future is full of so many interesting possibilities. Build on whatever you have. If you are passionate about anything in life, be it art, music, sports, administration, management, computers, theoretical science, journalism, cinema, robotics, literature and philosophy, delve deep into the field until you are prepared to make your own contribution. Do not grow up into boring dry sticks interested only in your own welfare and progress, but find but find your passion and give it everything. People who achieve success in life do not come from Mars. They are made of the same flesh and bone that you are made of, but they train themselves in a better way. Try doing that and see how your life changes. At the end, I would like to thank my deputy, Mr. Umesh Kaul, for all the different ways in which he has helped me to carry out my basic functions my coordinators, Mrs. Preeti Sharma, Mr. Neeraj Tiwari, Mr. Mrs. Babita Bhatnagar, Mrs. Veenu Sanjeev, and Mrs. Ruby Arora for all their help. Mr. L.K. Shukla for, have, for heading the CBSC examinations commendably year after year. Mr. S. K. Singh and Mr. Mithilesh Mishra for handling the internal examinations. I thank Mr. Lalit Kumar and Ms. Jyoti Pandey for managing our boarding houses to the satisfaction of all stakeholders. I thank every one of the staff and all our parents and well-wishers for having come together as a team during the entire year. I hope and pray that the next year is more fruitful and professionally satisfying than the one that has just gone by. Thank you for listening. We rarely get an opportunity to listen to the words of a great personality like Mr. Aklesh Mishra, who is an IAS and the Special Secretary of Transport in Uttar Pradesh government. So, let us listen to the eloquent threads of words of our venerated chief guest. Namaskar, this is Aklesh Mishra, your chief guest and Members of the staff, the students, the parents of Jagran Public School, it is my pleasure to inaugurate the online annual functions of Jagran Public School, Lucknow. We understand that the reason behind holding the most important function of the year virtually is the coronavirus. But we salute the spirit that motivates you all to hold such a function by any means, despite the odds. Chagrin Public School, Lucknow, is doing it. It is one of the best CVSE schools in this city. And that is why it is understandable why all the classes of the society including we bureaucrats like this as much. The school which believes in hardcore education and that too without the frills that have come up to distinguish more recent additions in the education sector. The school believes in traditional values and technological interventions which are actually required at this phase of society, this phase of world. The school creates a balance between the modernity and tradition that puts Jagran Public School in class by itself as per the name denotes the Jagran, the awakening. I would like to congratulate the students, the teachers and the parents who must have worked together as a team during this pandemic to put the program in the place. And I have been told that even the kindergarten kids, they are attending this program. It's a program with a difference in quality, with difference in quantity, and it's a program with a challenge. The Program includes the Hindi, 
the musical dances, the orchestra, the music, as I have been told. And we remember our days when the annual function was just the only function we used to celebrate with all the guts in our life, all the skills in our life when we were on this stage. My message to the students are, you have never to give up. You cannot give up. Try to learn. Try, try and try. This time it was virus. More challenges will come in the life. It may be in any form and that will test your social, your cuts, your economical, your management and your individuality in the life. Try to delve into as many as different worlds you can as a school because later on you might not get the time to learn. Explore the science, understand the dilemmas of the history, the magic numbers and how some of the most beautiful designs present our universe are mathematically sound, qualitative, scientific spirit and appreciation of the beauty. Imagine the flights in the fine arts. In coming times, you will be having an extended family at a school and extended school at your family. Child is father of the nation. The parents, they are first teacher and teachers, they are second parents. So you will have to take not only the activities which are increasing your knowledge, but also the activities which are increasing your skills, your social tentacles and your understanding of the society. Also, do not reject the world, the real world to this virtual world. Today, all the virtual worlds we live in, they are nothing and they can never substitute your real world. You should know how to respect your elders. When Sri Ram was being taught, his Gurujans taught Sri Ram, ki prat kal uth ke raguna tha, matu pita guru na vahima tha. When they used to wake up in the morning, they used to remember their father, their mother and their gurus. So guru is a sort of extended family. As soon as you grow up, as you grow, you will see that you are having an extended family within you. Let your personality include everything. Why leave out anything? Grow up into worthy members of the society to bring honor to your parents, your school. Being a student, you must know the principle of Avivadana Shilasya Nritya Vidhopi Sevanaha Chattvari Tasya Vardhante Ayur Vidya Yashovalam. If you are Avivadana Shil, you are giving respect to everyone and you are just helping out the old people, you will get more education, you will get more Ashivad of these people so that you will easily come through the troubles of your society. Finally, I would like to thank the school management for giving me a chance to address the students and parents of Chagran Public School. Thank you, sir. To remove all obstacles, one should meditate on Lord Ganesh, dressed in white, whose color is like the moon, who has four arms and whose face radiates compassion and wisdom. So, let's start today's events by evoking the God of excellence and good beginnings with the Ganesh Mandala. Riddhi Siddhi Vriddhi Hoti
छुपा है मोरिया उसे ही जय हो तो दिख भी जय हो तेरी तरह मोरिया
fortunate to be in a school system that supports musical arts. I couldn't agree more with you. And as a music student myself, it gives me great pleasure to introduce my schoolmates who are here with their instruments to present a blend of arts and music in an engaging interdisciplinary performance. The performance you are about to witness is based on the rag Charukeshi, a melodious rag which has made its way from the royal darbars of southern India to the North Indian Talim and the golden age of Bollywood. So let's welcome them.
current performance was indeed a treat to our ears. Now praise yourself for a high obtained dose of entertainment. The dance of our kitty wings are so inviting and engaging that they are bound to induce you to tap your feet along with the dancers. As they are going to perform a rock dance, fireworks with rapid moving steps. So get ready for a whirlwind of joy and excitement.
कुछ छूट गए हैं और कुछ साथ रह गए जीवन से मिले हुए कुछ आघात रह गए जिन जिन से मिले सभी को भूल गए हम तुम मगर हमारे इस जहन को याद रह गए कैन यू हेयर द साउंड ऑफ म्यूजिक फिल द एयर विद ट्रैंक्विलिटी एंड फ्लो इनटू आवर सोल्स टू इंस्टिल सीरीन ब्लिस यस आई कैन इट्स अ स्कूल कोयटी ट्यूनिंग ऑन देयर कॉर्ड्स टू फिल द एयर विद नोट्स ऑफ लव
हमारी अगली प्रस्तुति है कृष्ण चंद्र जी के द्वारा लिखी गई कहानी पे आधारित एक नाटक जामुन का पेड़ जामुन का पेड़ कृष्ण चंद्र जी द्वारा लिखी गई प्रसिद्ध कहानी है यह पूरी तरह से एक व्यंग प्रदान कहानी है जिसमें उन्होंने सरकारी कार्यालयों के कामकाज पर गहरा व्यंग किया है एक बार एक रात को बड़े जोर से आंधी आई आंधी से शहर भर में कई जगह नुकसान हुआ था उनमें से एक था शहर का सचिवालय सचिवालय के लोन में कई पेड़ पौधे थे और वहाँ एक बड़ा जामुन का पेड़ भी था आधी से वह जामुन का पेड़ गिर पड़ा और उसके नीचे एक आदमी भी दब गया सवेरे जब माली वहाँ पहुँचा तो देखा कि एक आदमी उस पेड़ के नीचे दबा पड़ा है अरे ये सब क्या हो गया सारे पेड़ों का सत्यानाश हो गया है सब कुछ दोबारा से ठीक करना पड़ेगा बहुत काम हो गया है ये क्या ये जामुन का पेड़ कैसे गिर गया है अरे इसके नीचे तो एक आदमी भी दबा पड़ा है जल्दी से बात जाकर मैं सबको बताता हूँ पता नहीं जिंदा भी है कि कि मर गया वो लॉन में जो जामुन का पेड़ था वो गिर गया है और उसके नीचे एक आदमी भी दबा पड़ा है रुको अभी मैं साहब को बताता हूँ इतना बड़ा जामुन का पेड़ गिरा तो गिरा कैसे बेचारा जामुन का पेड़ कितना फलदार था और इसकी जाम में कितनी रसीली होती थी अरे मैं तो फलों के मौसम में झूला भर कर ले जाता था और मेरे बच्चे कितनी खुशी ऐसी खाते थे अरे साहब आप इस पेड़ को छोड़िए नीचे दबे हुए आदमी पे भी तो ध्यान दीजिए पता नहीं जिंदा भी है कि मर गया मर ही गया होगा बेचारा आखिर इतना भारी पेड़ किसी के ऊपर गिरे तो वह कैसे बच सकता है अरे भैया ये तो जिंदा है साहब अब जब ये जिंदा है तो क्यों ना जल्दी से हम लोग पेड़ को हटा आदमी को निकाल ले वरना बेचारा मर जाएगा बात तो तुम्हारी ठीक है लगाओ जो रंग सेक्रेटरी मैडम ऐसी तो पूछ लू जी साहब नमस्ते मैडम अरे भैया तुम यहाँ दब कैसे गए मगर हम इस विषय में कर ही क्या सकते हम सब व्यापार में बहुत से समझते हैं और ये पेड़ पौधों की समस्या तो कुछ भी काम देखता है एक काम करिए इस विषय की एक फाइल बनाइए उनसे कुछ भी काम दोपहर के खाने पर दबे हुए आदमी के आसपास लोग तरह तरह की बातें करने लगे साहब अब जरा रिपोर्ट आने में देर मालूम होती है क्यों ना इस पेड़ को खुद ही हटा दे अरे अरे कैसी बात कर रहे हैं आखिर इतना बड़ा पेड़ हटाएगा कौन साहब हम ही लोग कोशिश कर लेते हैं बेचारे की जान तो बचेगी मैं तो कहता हूँ की हाथ ही बुलवा लेते हैं वो पेड़ को खींच निकाल देगा आखिर आदमी भी तो जिंदा बचेगा साहब हाथी वाथी कुछ नहीं हम तो कहते हैं पेड़ के नीचे बनाए गड्ढा और आदमी को खींच के निकाल लो आदमी भी बचेगा हमारा काम जरा जल्दी निपटेगा बात तो ये भी ठीक है साहब कृषि विभाग से उत्तर आया अरे ना तो। तुम काम करो मैम को बुला लो ठीक है साहब मैडम कृषि विभाग से उत्तर आया क्या कहता है कृषि विभाग मैडम कृषि विभाग वाले तो कह रहे हैं की पेड़ तो व्यापार विभाग के लोन में गिरा है इसीलिए से हटाने या ना हटाने की जिम्मेदारी व्यापार विभाग पर है ना कि कृषि विभाग पर है कृषि विभाग में सब काम चोर है क्या तुम ये फाइल दोबारा से कृषि विभाग लेकर जाओ और उनसे कहो कि इस पेड़ को हटाने या ना हटाने की जिम्मेदारी सिर्फ ठीक है मैम अभी जाओ कृषि विभाग ने यह मामला हॉर्टिकल्चर डिपार्टमेंट में भिजवा दिया है क्योंकि यह एक फलदार पेड़ का मामला और कृषि विभाग केवल अनाज और खेती के मामले में फैसले करने के अधिकार है ठीक है अब तो इस विषय में केवल इंतजार ही किया जा सकता है हाँ भाई और क्या ही करें इंतजार करते हैं साहब फाइल आने में थोड़ी देर तो क्यों ना यहाँ पे पहरा लगवा दिया जाए ताकि आते जाते लोग इससे छेड़छाड़ी ना करें ठीक है राजू बात तो ठीक है सर आप एक काम करिए पुलिस स्टेशन में फोन करके हाथ पे कांस्टेबल भिजवा थाने से दरोगा जी एक कांस्टेबल को सचिवालय भिजवा देते हैं नमस्ते मैडम बताइए क्या काम है देखिए इसी जामुन के पेड़ की और इसी आदमी की रखवाली करनी है जरा सख्ती से पहरा दीजिएगा इनकी सुरक्षा में कोई कमी ना होने पाए चलो ऑटो सब जगह खाली करो तभी माली खाना लेकर आता है साहब साहब इसे खाना खिला दू नहीं नहीं ऐसा करने की अनुमति नहीं है जाओ तुम अरे साहब बेचारा कल रात से दबा पड़ा है भूखा होगा इसे खाना खिलाने दीजिए खिला लो लेकिन जरा जल्दी खिलाना जी ये लो भाई खाना खाओ तुम चिंता मत करो भैया तुम्हारी फाइल चल रही है उम्मीद है जल्द ही फैसला होगा और तुम इस समस्या से बाहर भी होगे। चिंता मत करना अच्छा भैया अच्छा हुआ कि ये जो पेड़ का तना है ना ये तुम्हारे कुल्हे के पास गिरा अगर कमर पे गिरता तो तो भैया 
रीढ़ की हड्डी भी टूट सकती थी हाँ हाँ फैसला होते ही तुम बाहर हो चिंता मत करो अच्छा ये बताओ तुम्हारा यहाँ आसपास कोई बारिश रहता है तो मुझे उसका अता पता दे दो तो मैं उसको खबर देने की कोशिश करूँ कि तुम इस समस्या में पड़े हो पता नहीं कैसे कैसे लोग हैं यहाँ यहाँ एक आदमी की जान जा रही है और इन्हें फाइलें चलवानी है ये नहीं कि जल्दी से पेड़ को हटा के आदमी को निकाल लें खिला लिया खाना अब जाओ यहाँ से ज्यादा पक पक नहीं करो ठीक है ठीक है जा रहा हूँ तभी हॉर्टिकल्चर डिपार्टमेंट से जवाब आ गया जवाब बहुत करा था और व्यंगपूर्ण भी था हॉर्टिकल्चर डिपार्टमेंट से जवाब आया और वो लोग कह रहे हैं कि इस वक्त जब हम पेड़ लगाओ स्कीम को इतने उच्च स्तर पर चला रहे हैं तब हमारे डिपार्टमेंट के आदमी एक फलदार जामुन के पेड़ को काटना चाहते हैं वो भी एक ऐसे पेड़ को जिसके फल जनता बड़े चाव से खाती है वो किसी भी हालत में ऐसे फलदार जामुन के पेड़ को काटने की इजाज़त नहीं देते साहब हम तो ये कह रहे हैं कि अगर अब ये लोग पेड़ काटने की इजाज़त नहीं दे रहे तो आदमी को ही काटते हैं क्या आदमी को कैसे काटते हैं देखिए साहब अगर इस आदमी को सीधा बीच से काटा जाए तो आधा हिस्सा पेड़ के उस तरफ से निकाल देंगे और आधा हिस्सा पेड़ के इस तरफ से आदमी भी निकलेगा पेड़ हटाने की जरूरत भी नहीं पड़ेगी अरे साहब देखो भाई आज विज्ञान बहुत उच्च स्तर आरोप जा चुका है वैसे ही इसके शरीर के हिस्से निकलेंगे हम प्लास्टिक सर्जरी से जुड़वा देंगे आखिर इस बारे में राय तो ले सकते हैं मैडम ठीक है इस बारे में डॉक्टर की राय तो ली नहीं जा सकती है एक काम करिए आस पास ही किसी हॉस्पिटल से एक अच्छे सर्जन को जी मैडम हम अभी लाते हैं मैडम डॉक्टर साहब अब देखिए डॉक्टर साहब सरकारी मामला है पेड़ को तो हम काट नहीं सकते तो हम चाहते हैं क्यों ना आप इस आदमी को बीच से काट कर निकाल दें उसके बाद प्लास्टिक सर्जरी से जोड़ दीजिएगा अच्छा ज़रा रुकी मैं देखती हूँ मामला ऊपर चला गया है सुना है जल्दी फैसला होगा और तुम इस समस्या से बाहर भी होगे क्या तुम शायर हो अरे भाई तुम पहले क्यों नहीं बताया नहीं नहीं भाई मैं तो बस आश्चर्य में पड़ गया था अच्छा ठीक है रुको अरे पहले बताना चाहिए था तुम्हारे पास आकर हम बैठते और कुछ सोचते तुम्हारा समय निकल जाता हमारा जरा मनोरंजन हो जाता अब देखो भैया ये दबा हुआ व्यक्ति तो एक शायर है अब इसकी समस्या का समाधान ना हमारा व्यापार विभाग कर पाएगा और ना कृषि विभाग अब तो इसकी समस्या का सीधा सीधा समाधान तो सांसदिक विभाग ही है एक काम करिए इस विषय की फाइल को सांसदिक विभाग भिजवाइए और उनसे कहिए कि हम इस विषय की सारी जिम्मेदारी से कितने कर कल्चर डिपार्टमेंट से अनुरोध किया गया कि जल्द से जल्द मामले का फैसला करके अब आगे को इस फलदार पेड़ से छुटकारा दिलाया जाए चपरासी कल्चर सेक्रेटरी को अपने साथ लेकर आता है आप यही है वो दबा हुआ व्यक्ति आप रुकिए मैं जरा साहब को बुलाकर ला दूँ क्या हो गया भाई तुम यहाँ कैसे दब गए मैं तो ऐसे ही पूछ रही थी तुम तो बुरा मान गए अब देखिए आश्चर्य इतना बड़ा कवि ओस के फूल का लेखक और हमारी एक आदमी का मेंबर नहीं ओस ये कैसी भूल हो गई है हमसे कितना बड़ा कभी और कैसी अंधेरी गुमनामी में दबा पड़ा है अच्छा अच्छा तुम रुको मैं अभी कुछ करती हूँ थोड़ी देर बाद कल्चर सेक्रेटरी भागा भागा कवि के पास आता है अरे भाई सुनो बहुत बड़ी खुशखबरी है 
हमारी एक आदमी ने अपनी केंद्रीय शाखा में तुम्हें मेंबर चुन लिया है ये लो चुनाव कर अरे वाह ये तो बहुत अच्छा हुआ बल्कि हम ये भी कर सकते हैं कि अगर तुम मर जाओ तो तुम्हारे परिवार वालों को वजीफा दिला सकते हैं तुम दरखास्त दो तो वो भी करा दें देखो भैया हमारा डिपार्टमेंट सिर्फ कल्चर संबंधित है और ये पेड़ कटवाने की समस्या कलम दबाव से नहीं आरी कुमारी से संबंधित रहती है तुम्हारे मामले की फाइल बनाकर वन विभाग भिजवा दिया है वो जल्दी कोई ना कोई फैसला ले लेंगे और तुमको इस पेड़ से छुटकारा भी दिलवा ही देंगे इसी पेड़ को काटना है तो ध्यान रखिएगा कहीं आदमी को कोई चोट ना लगे जी साहब अरे रुको रुको इस पेड़ को मत काटो अगर क्यों मैम हम इस पेड़ को नहीं काट सकते इस पेड़ को 10 साल पहले इस लॉन में पुटेनिया राज्य के प्रधानमंत्री ने लगाया था अब अगर हमने इस पेड़ को काटा तो ऐसे अंदेश है की हमारे संबंध सदा के लिए पुटेनिया राज्य ऐसी खराब हो जाए मगर ये एक आदमी के जान का सवाल है अरे भाई दूसरी और दो राज्यों के संबंधों का भी तो सवाल है क्या तुम ये नहीं जानते कि पुटने राज ने हमारे राज्य की कितनी सहायता की है क्या हम उनकी दोस्ती के लिए एक आदमी का बलिदान नहीं दे सकते तो क्या इस आदमी को मारना चाहिए निसंदेह वैसे भी तो बेचारा लावारिस है अरे अरे आप सब लोग सुनिए बहुत बड़ी खुशखबरी है क्या खुशखबरी है अभी थोड़ी देर पहले ही विदेश विभाग ऐसी सूचना मिली है की प्रधानमंत्री दौरे ऐसी वापस आए और उन्होंने इस पेड़ को काटने का आदेश दिया है इसके अंतर्गत सारी राष्ट्रीय और अंतर्राष्ट्रीय जिम्मेदारी अपने सर कर ले जाए भैया जल्दी ऐसी पेड़ को काटो जल्दी करो ये तो अच्छा हुआ भाई बात तो खुशी की है भैया भाई, भाई पेड़ कट गया है साहब ये तो हिलडुल नहीं रहा है हा? और इसकी सांसें भी धीरे चल रही है क्या करें? अरे सब मिलकर इसे उठाओ चले जाओ हॉस्पिटल लेकर जाओ नाटिका के अंत तक आते आते हमने देखा कि दबे हुए आदमी की सरकारी फाइल पूर्ण होते होते उसके जीवन की फाइल पूर्ण होने की नौबत आ गई थी सरकारी कार्यवाही के चलते एक आदमी के जीवन पर प्रश्न ही लग गया था हम अपने दैनिक जीवन में भी ऐसी ही अक्सर घटनाएं देखते हैं अंत हम इस नाटिका से नाटिका से प्रेरणा लेते हुए प्रतिज्ञा करनी चाहिए कि किसी भी स्थिति में हमें सरकारी कार्यवाही के चक्कर में ना पड़कर पहले मनुष्य के जीवन को बचाना चाहिए अब हमारी सरकार ने निर्देश जारी किया है कि पहले मनुष्य की जान बचाएं उसके बाद सरकारी कार्यवाही
यतो हस्ता ततो दृष्टि यतो दृष्टि ततो मना यतो मना ततो भाव यतो भाव ततो रसा ऑन दिस नोट लेट्स वेलकम द वेरी टैलेंटेड गर्ल्स ऑफ आवर स्कूल शो केसिंग इंडियन आर्ट एंड कल्चर विद देयर ग्रेस एंड ब्यूटी इन अ माइंड ब्लोइंग परफॉर्मेंस ऑन द ट्यून्स ऑफ ब्रेथलेस बाय शंकर महादेवन मुझे ऐसा लगता था जैसे मेरी सारी दुनिया में गीतों की रुत और रंगों की बरखा है खुशबू की आंधी है महकी हुई सी अब सारी फिजाएं है महकी हुई सी अब सारी हवाएं है कोई हुई सी अब सारी दिशाएं है बदली हुई सी अब सारी अदाएं है जागी उमंगे है धड़क रहा है दिल सांसों में तू पाए हो जब कोई आया था नजरों पे छाया था दिल में समाया था कैसे मैं बताओ तुम्हें कैसा उसे पाया था प्यार से चेहरे पे बिखरी जो जुल्फे तो ऐसा लगता था जैसे गोहर के पीछे एक ओस में धुला हुआ फूल खिला है जैसे बादल में एक चांद छुपा है और चाक रहा है जैसे रात के पर्दे में एक सवेरा है रोशन रोशन आंखों में सपनों का सागर जिसने प्रेम सितारों की चादर जैसे झलक रही है लहरों लहरों बात करे तो जैसे मोती पर से जैसे कहीं चांदी की पायल गूंजे जैसे कहीं शीशे के जाम गिरे और छन से टूटे जैसे कोई चिप के सितार बजाए जैसे कोई चांद निरात में गाए जैसे कोई हॉल से पास बुलाए कैसी मीठी बात थी वो कैसी मुलाकात थी वो जब मैंने जाना था नजरों से कैसे बिगड़ते हैं दिल और आर सुबह कैसे मन दिल और कैसे उतरता है चांद जमी पर कैसे कभी लगता है सर भी अगर तो बस उसने बताया मुझे और समझाया मुझे हम जो मिले हैं हमें ऐसे ही मिलना था गुल जो खिले हैं उन्हें ऐसे ही खिलना था जन्मों के बंधन जन्मों के रिश्ते हैं जब भी हम जन्मे तो हम यू ही मिलते हैं कानों में मेरे जैसे शहद से खुलने लगे काबू के दर जैसे आंखों में खुलने लगे काबू की दुनिया भी कितनी हसी और कैसी रंग भी थी काबू की दुनिया जो कहने को थी पर कहीं भी नहीं थी काबू जो टूटे मेरे आंख जो खुली मेरी होश जो आया मुझे मैंने देखा मैंने जाना वो जो कभी आया था नजरों पर छाया था दिल में समाया था जा भी चुका है और दिल मेरा है अब तन तन ना तो कोई अरमा है ना कोई तमन्ना है और ना कोई सपना है जो मेरे दिन और अब जो मेरी राहते हैं उनमें सिर्फ आंसू है उनमें सिर्फ दर्द की रंज की बातें हैं और बड़ी यादें हैं मेरा अब कोई नहीं मैं हूँ और खोए हुए प्यार की यादें हैं मैं हूँ और खोए हुए प्यार की यादें हैं मैं हूँ और खोए हुए प्यार की यादें हैं अब जो मेरे दिन और अब जो मेरी रातें हैं उनमें सिर्फ आंसू है उनमें सिर्फ दर्द की रंज की बातें हैं और फरियादे हैं मेरा अब कोई नहीं मैं हूँ और खोए हुए प्यार की यादें हैं डूब गया है दिल गम के अंधेरे में मेरी सारी दुनिया है दर्द के घेरे में मेरे सारे गीत ढले या हो मैं बन के दीवाना अब यहाँ वहाँ फिरता हूँ तो कर खाता हूँ उन राहों में जहाँ उसे देखा था जहाँ उसे चाह था जहाँ मैं हंसा था और बाद में रोया था जहाँ उसे पाया था पाके खोया था जहाँ कभी फूलों के कलियों के साए थे रंगी रंगी महके रुद ने हर एक कदम पर रात रचाए थे गुलशन गुलशन दिन ने उजाले थे जगमग जगमग नूर तरा तो मैं झिल मिल झिल मिल जा मैंने बाबू की देखी था साहिल जहाँ मैंने खाओ जहाँ कल खाई थी जीने की मरने की तक में थोड़ी थी तक में जाकर पर ज्यादा प्रीत का बादल जहाँ मैंने काम था कोई चल जहाँ पहली बार हुआ था मैं पागल लगून राहों में कोई नहीं है अब है वो राही मेरा मेरा दिल भी है जैसे है रा है रा जाने कहा गया मेरे सपनों का मेला ऐसे ही ख्यालों में खोया खोया घूम रहा था मैं कब से अकेला चमका से तारा जैसे कोई गगन में गुंजी सदा कोई मन आंगन में किसी ने पुकारा मुझे मुड़ के जो देखा मैंने मिल गया खोया हुआ दिल का सहारा मुझे जिसे मैंने पूछा था लौट के आया है थोड़ा शर्मिंदा है थोड़ा घबराया है सुल्फ परेशान है कांपते हूँ और भीगी हुई आंखें देख रहा है मुझे घूम सुन घूम सुन उसकी नजर जैसे पूछ रही हो इतना बता तो कहीं खबर तो नहीं तुम प्यार जो देखा फिर मेरी निगाहों में आग लगी तल था वो मेरी इन बाहों में भूल गया मेरा दिल जैसे हर गम झूम नजारे और झूम ही हवाएं जैसे फिर घर लगी सारी दिशाएं कितनी हसी है कितनी जुबानी हम दोनों की प्रेम कहानी हम दोनों की प्रेम कहानी हम दोनों की प्रेम कहानी 
Rip Van Winkle is a short story by Washington Irving, published in The Sketchbook in 1819-20. Though set in the Dutch culture of pre-revolutionary war, New York State, the story of Rip Van Winkle is based on a German folktale about an amiable farmer whose life changes when he meets a group of dwarfs and falls into a deep sleep for 20 years. So, to portray the dramatical stage, we have our young children who would show their forte. Many years ago, in a village in North America, there lived a simple, good-natured fellow named Rip Van Winkle. He was a kind neighbor, ready to help everyone. All the people in the village liked him, especially the children of that village. Thank you, Rip Van Winkle. That's my pleasure. Rip Van Winkle, go up! Rip Van Winkle, go down! Rip Van Winkle, go all around! On a Saturday afternoon! Rip Van Winkle, jump high! Rip Van Winkle, jump low! Rip Van Winkle, jump to the sun! His wife, Tim Van Winkle, would scold him for being an irresponsible person. Rip, rip, where are you? Come here right now. You lazy man, cause of you, we are always hungry and ill clad. The wheels have also grown all over our farm and the fences are all broken. When are we going to work for your family? Rip, come here right now. I want your father home. You wait here and tell him that. <sighs> hey father, mama said you're wanted at home. Yes, yes. No use of delaying. Off we go. When Rip went home, Mama, Mama, Father is back now. I did good for nothing, fellow. All you do is nag, nag, nag. I'm sick of it. Why can't you do a little work on a farm instead of playing with the kids and passing time helping other people? Not a word would Dripson in reply, taking his gun upon his shoulder and calling his faithful dog Bird to go with him, he set off to wander among the hills. Let us go home now. It's evening. Perhaps my wife's temper has cooled down by this time. Rip Ram Winkle! Rip Ram Winkle! As the strange little man with a cat called Rip from behind, Rip Van Winkle wondered who the man was as he was alone there and didn't even know him. Did you call me, sir? Will you please carry this heavy cat up the hill for me? Sure, sir. It will be my pleasure. Rip was idle in his own home. 
home but he was always ready to help other people so he took up the kid and both the men began to trudge up the hill after a while they came to a hollow among the hills some strange looking men were playing a game of nine pins hey who are these people as soon as the players saw the game they stopped their game can i also play with you all come on everyone have this drink to quench your thirst yes sir yes sir they drank the drink and went back to play their game but they didn't give him the drink so when no one was looking he took one sip from the keg a good drink to be sure i will drink a little more before long he began to feel quite drowsy then he fell asleep When Jeff Van Winkle woke up, he found himself still on the green hill side. His dog and the strange looking men were not to be seen. Why? I must have slept all night. Wolf, wolf, where are you, my dear dog? Come here, wolf. Don't know where my sweet dog has gone. I think that strange men have played some mean trick on me. Huh. I am so tired. It's been an hour since I can't find my dog. I think that strange men have stolen my dog. I should go home now. I expect that my wife dame van winkle will half kill me for staying out all night when jim van winkle reached the village everything was changed he was not able to identify but in the street the shops were strange and the houses had changed <laughs> Moving forward on that note, our next performance is by our very own school choir on the iconic song Believer. One of the most noticeable hard hitting tracks of this generation and is recorded by American pop rock band Imagine Dragons. The theme of this track swirls around the quote, what doesn't kill you make you stronger.
next is a play by August Strindberg called Facing Death. Facing Death by August Strindberg is a story of Monsieur Durand, a railroad worker and a widower living in the shambles of poverty. It's a story of a father's love for his children, who sacrifices all he has for the sake of his daughters. Stringberg dramatizes the heroic sacrifice of a bankrupt man. The drama revolves around various themes of relationship, secrets, and misfortune. Haven't you been for the coffee bread, father? No, my choice has been bad. That's true enough, but it seems I have to get a bread. That would ruin the credit of the house entirely, but you have never done anything else. Even you are dead? Even I am tired, though I have held out longest. Yes, you are tired. You had to sit in the kitchen, like Cinderella. I had to take care of the services and do the errands. You are tired. How should it be with me then? But you must know it. You have three daughters who are unprovided for the loose dowry you have wasted. Doesn't seem that you heard a sound of clanging and rumbling down towards Kali. If the fire is broken, they are lost. The wind is going to blow soon. The lake tells me that. Have you paid the fire insurance of our house? Yes, I have. Otherwise, I would have never got the last mortgage. How much is there left unmortgaged? Uh, a fifth of the financial policy. You know how property dropped in value when the railroad passed our gates into the east instead. So much the better. Adele, will you put out a fire in the stove? Impossible. I can't till the coffee bread comes. Well, here it is. No bread, but a bill. Two, three. Oh God, this is the end for us. Will you be good enough to receive Master Antonio yourself? He is coming now to have his coffee without bread. Oh, if Mother were only living, she always found a way when you stood helpless. Your mother had her good qualities. Although you saw only her faults. Master Antonio is coming. If you leave me now, I'll have a talk with him. You would do better to go out and borrow some money so that the scandal would be averted. I can't borrow so. After borrowing for ten long years. Let everything pass for once. Everything, even if it mean the end, let it be. The end for you? Yes, but you never think of us. No, I have never thought of you. Never. Go now. I'll meet the storm, as usual. As usual. Huff. Good morning, Monsieur Durand. Monsieur Lieutenant, has all been out for a walk? Yes, I have been down to its gully and saw them putting out chimney fire. Now some coffee will taste particularly good. I'm sorry to tell you that, on account of insufficient supplies, our house can no longer continue to do the job. How's that? To speak plainly, we are bankrupt. But, my good Monsieur Durand, is there no way to help you out? What I hope is just a temporary embarrassment. No, there's no possible way out. Condition of the house has been completely undermined for many years. That I would have rather crash would come than. You live in a state of anxiety, day and night, expecting what must come. Nevertheless, as I must believe, you are looking at the dark side of things. Maybe I can help you. I don't wish any help. Privation must come, and teach my children to lead a different life from this, which is all play, with the exception of Adele, who really does take care of the kitchen. What do the others do? Play, sing, promenade, and flirt. And as long as they trust well the house, they'll never do. They'll never do anything useful. Granting that, but until the finances are straightened out, we must have bread in the house. Allow me to stay a month longer, and I will pay my bill in advance. No, thank you. We must stick to this course, even if it leads us into the lake. And I don't want to continue this business. Which doesn't bring any bread, but humiliations. The last spring, an American family came and saved us. The morning after their arrival, I ran up to their son, catching hold of my daughter. It was Terry's. He was trying to hold her hand. What do you have done in my case? I don't know. I know what. I should have acted like a father, but father like I didn't do it. But I know what to do the next time. On account of that very thing, it seems that you should think very carefully about what you do and not leave your daughters to chance. Well, Monsieur Antonio, you are a young man who, for inexplicable reasons, has won my regard. Do you grant it or not? I'm going to ask you one thing. 
don't form any opinions about me as an individual or about my conduct. Mr. Adjutant, as I must leave, your pension must be closed. I want to pay what I owe. To be sure, it's only ten francs, and I can't go and leave an unpaid bill. I can't really be sure, as a debt, as I don't keep my accounts. But if you deceive me, you shall hear from me. I will go and get the bread. Afterward, we'll find out. What's this? What? Did I see right? What did you see? I saw that you have a strange man to hold your hand. But that's a lie. Monsieur Lieutenant, as accounts have been settled, last will leave this house immediately, or else. Or else? I can take that gun that I used in the last war. You surely have been at war. You who deserted. Mother said that I can't fight the dead, but I can fight the living. Think what are you doing? This will not ask a fault. Goodbye, Monsieur Durand. Keep my contempt and my ten francs. My curse if you follow your gold scam. Don't go. Don't leave us. Father will kill us. He who cannot kill must die. That's the way you treat your guest. Is it any wonder the house has gone to pieces? Yes, that's the way. Such guest. But Theris, tell me, did I see wrong? You told a falsehood. Oh well, talk about something else. Tell us what we're going to eat and drink today. For that matter, it's a lie. He didn't hold my hand. It isn't a lie. In heaven's name, did I see it happen? Then prove it. Prove it with two witnesses or a policeman. And it, my child, will you tell me the truth? I didn't say anything. That's a proper answer for one who should never accuse one's sister. How about your mother? You today, Annet? Don't you say anything about mother? Mother, there is your milk. What happened to the bread? It will continue to come as always. Shall not have anything. You who threw away money, so your children are compared to star. Did he throw away money? Mother was right. You should have been put in the mental asylum. But he will surely have found his smoke the back up. Dear children, don't vex yourself needlessly. You shan't waste the matches too. Theris, if you knew, how many times I wasted matches on you? And it, how many times I gave you water? When your mother believed it was harmful for children to drink. Well, that was only your duty. It was, and I fulfilled it, and a little more too. Well, continue to do so, or no one knows what will become of us. You will proceed yourself, as your mother always said. She used to spend the housekeeping on the lottery tickets. Silence! Not a word about our dear beloved mother. Adele, put out the fire in the stove. The windstorm is coming. No, the windstorm is not coming. Just obey me. Do as I say. Put it out. But but, bid me a goodbye first. I am going to get the money for you oh. all. Here's your milk, and here are your matches, Papa. Thanks, my child. Go now. Just give me a loving look that you always used to do. Farewell, Annet. Adieu, Father, and a good journey to you. Adele, come. Now you shall hear and understand. I had a life insurance policy that I sold a long ago, but I have a fine insurance policy. Yeah, the papers. In five minutes or so, the sixth candle placed high will be burned out. No. Can you see dawn in this darkness? No. Well then, that take care of the business. Now, if Monsieur Adouin passes away from this world as an incendiary, it doesn't matter much because his children will know that he lived a man of honor. That's not what Mother said on her deathbed. So, so now the ghost has risen and stands between us again. And as far as your daughter is concerned, it was your mother, foolish speculations, what your paternal inheritance, 
and her relatives was used to bring Bajrel up. I swear I speak the truth. No, that's not what mother said on her deathbed. Then your mother lied on her deathbed, as she had done all her life. Think how you have innocently tortured me with these two lies. I felt it's honorable to accuse the dead who can't defend themselves. <laughs> I am not dead yet, but I will be soon. No need to defend me, <laughs> but defend your sisters. Lord, protect us. <laughs> he will. You must match the money when it falls to you. Don't say anything, but the papers. It will soon accomplish now. Promise. <laughs> Never to divulge this to your sisters, <laughs> and never a hard word against mother. It's burning! It's burning! Father, what's the matter with you? You have taken poison. Have you a life insurance paper? Words dance to the tune of poetry. Paintings dance to the tune of brush. Feelings dance to the tune of mind. Bodies dance to the tune of age, and people. People dance to the tune of God. Now experience a pulsating group dance with the performer who dance on the tune of Women and Love Nevada.
Being the head boy of the school, I, Ansh Bharadwaj, consider it a great honor and privilege to propose the vote of thanks on the 15th annual cultural evening of Jagran Public School, Lucknow. Today, I take this opportunity to express my deepest sense of gratitude and appreciation to all those who made this event such a resounding success. First and foremost, I must thank our principal sir for his support and supervision for organizing such an event and for constantly encouraging us and bolstering our endeavors. I take immense pleasure in thanking our respected Vice Principal Sir for his constant assistance and guidance throughout the year. Now, I place on record my gratitude to our chief guest for today's grand evening, Mr. Akhilesh Mishra, Special Secretary of Transport, UP, who spared time from his busy schedule to grace this virtual evening with this presence. Next, my heartfelt thanks goes out to all the teachers and the administration staff who have always stood by us and guide us, lead us, support us, and motivate us in all possible ways. I am grateful to all the parents and viewers for their presence on this virtual platform. Last but not the least, I thank the student committee for their active participation to make this function a huge success. With this, I would like to take your leave. I hope you all had a great time experiencing our virtual annual function. Thank you.